everyone, welcome to another episode of Let's Open Some Packs. Today, we're doing <laughs> the new Chris Ramsey first playing cards. And I've done other ones before. Uh, oh, before we get to that, um, some housekeeping. I am... Oh, there's a Discord. Yes. <laughs> there's a Discord. And we're talking about playing cards. Come join us. I'll put a link for that in the description. Um, in that place, the Discord, uh, yeah, we're just talking about cards <laughs> if you like playing cards come join us it's pretty cool um actually it's a good segue into the next point i'm gonna make which is i brought a bunch of stuff out to talk about these cards uh because there's a lot of chatter about these cards uh, which i think is totally totally justified um these cards each deck is 20 usd so the united states dollars and uh I actually got a brick of these casino cards. I don't want to have one open, but they're not here. They got a really nice blue color. Anyways, what I want to tell you is that that brick cost me $24. Uh, and that's not a diss. Don't go away. This is no no shade on first. Uh, I want to talk about that because that's kind of the, um, the, the topic. And I will tell you that I'm in defense of these being $20. And I'll explain why. Uh, because... If you remember, he did these as well. Uh, these go for like 10 bucks, which makes sense. Uh, these do not. I think these are going for like 15. Uh, they're probably going for 20 now. Uh, and these, I, I know, oh, I really broke that in. Look at how brown that is. Yeah, that's how you know it's good. Uh, these are really good cards. These are some of the best cards I have. Oh, look at that, dude. That's when you know you're using your card. Look at that, it's even coming in on the camera. Yeah, use your cards. <laughs> use your cards. Um, yeah, and man, this deck is so good. This is one I was doing like card street. This you can do. The, the finish on these is really good, and I think that's what you're paying for. And you're also paying for uh, for quality, so um, and design and things like this. And the reason I'm starting the video usually you end the video with something like that, like oh, are these worth it? I'm telling you right out the gate because I have not felt them yet. And that justified the purpose. I have felt these. These are my least favorite ones he's done. Um, and it doesn't mean they're not they're good. They're bikes. They're good cards. Uh, but if I had to choose, these are also a little brown. Though. Look at that. You can tell I use my card. Use your card. Um, if I had to pick between the two, I would always pick this. If someone said, hey, I'll give you two decks of this or one deck of this, I would choose this over this any day of the week. Um, and not just because of the design, like the design is better, they have that gold, the gold, but the finish is really good. Same thing with these. Uh, these are actually cheaper than these. Um, and again, I'll, if you wanna watch any of these videos, I'll put a link for those in the description. I'm not gonna talk too much about the cards. I just wanted to uh, start the video off with that because um, these cards are not cheap. They're pretty expensive, and I, I'm excited about this one. We're gonna do that one second. Um, but yeah, let's get started. Welcome to the channel. Uh, I already told you all about the Discord, and um, I'm gonna take all the cellophane off on these. Something's got loose. Sounds like he did it himself. What did you do this yourself? Oh, and I brought. I got these awesome fancy beer glass. Look at that. That's not. Look at that. Man, I'm looking legit. While I'm opening these, kind of matches. Mmm, that's a local brew uh, from Lone Pint Brewery. Oh yeah, you know it's good. It's one of the best. It actually has won many awards. Anyways, uh, let's get on to these. Yeah, so I like the one-way design. I already know it's a one-way because I saw the video, the trailers he did, uh, and the art, man. Like all that stuff. Like, let me show y'all. So this is, um, I know it's like, dude, just open the, these are the cards. I could have got these earlier, but this is a brick. I bought two of these bricks. Circus Circus. Uh, it's basically an arcade casino in uh, in in uh, Vegas. But yeah, um, and it just smells like cigarettes in there, like crazy. The only downside, everything else is cool because I love video games. Love the color too. But this deck is like 250. This deck is a lot more like this one. Um, and man, look at that, the bar. This is just, it's a matte tuck. So you're already paying f more for that. Uh, oh, look at that. By the way, there's a storm outside. Can you hear it? That's not my stomach. Joker, I saw this picture upside down and I was like, what is that? Is that, is that like Korean? What it, <laughs> it's like, dude, it's an upside down picture. Oh, that's cool. See, I like this kind of stuff. I like bold. And he, the, the reds he, he chose, which I don't know if they're the standard Pantone. Um, 
but yeah, come on, zoom in on that bug. Yeah, that's a cool ace. I like it. Uh, so I know we're gonna get class here. Should we? Let's do the backs first. And that looks good. That's a good man. Look at how black that is. That's so good. And the finish. Uh, let me. Let's look at the two joke. Oh, they're in a stack. No, they're. They are. <laughs> I'm gonna say mnemonic. I don't know mnemonica, so don't, don't even. You get a blank and a four. Usually you get that uh, with all of them, and I'm gonna do a fan right away. <laughs> this dude, yeah. Who's watching me right now? Who's watching me? Yeah, I'm not the greatest at fans. I could do a lot of other stuff real good, but uh, the fans, yeah, I gotta go back to card school. Anyways, uh, look at this back design. Man, that looks good. I like it. It's bold, it's simple. And what makes it, you know what makes it more impactful for me is that I know, like he's a YouTuber and I watch his channel. Not too much of the puzzle stuff. I'm sorry if you're watching Chris Ramsey. I don't know if you watch my videos, but if you do, I, you know, the puzzle videos sometimes, it was actually your puzzle, one of your puzzle videos that got me into your channel. So, so I do watch them sometimes. But I like supporting content creators. So when I buy these, I know that I'm paying him directly. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's one of the reasons I think it's, um, I like the, the deck. Yeah, so they're going to be a stack, and they're going to probably be standard, um, all standard with recolor, recolored quartz and um, and like a little first, extra first stuff in there, which he did it with his other cards. So you see the little first pattern, which is a nice touch. People, like, I don't know if they're not marked or anything uh, on the back. Obviously, they're not. They're one way, though. Um, That's my boy right there. Yo, what's up? Let's get pizza. Yeah, so, yeah, and I think that's good because these he usually make these decks are good for magic for that reason. Good for cardistry because how bold they are. Um, yeah, standard, all standard, in a stack. And we're going to ruin this deck in a second. So if you're into magic, there you go. Ooh, you see how creamy that was? That's that finish, yo. I'm telling you. Come on, don't go out of focus. Um, <laughs> that was a terrible spread. Yeah, so I, I wanted to start the video that way. Um, maybe it's not the most professional, but here at Diggle Deck's headquarters, that's how we are. The deck feels small in my hand, too. Thin Crush, for sure. Uh, and the reason for that is because of the price. Could be inflation, too. Uh, worth every penny. Not sure how many he printed. He printed 20K of that last one like 27k or something crazy uh which are really good cards and i <laughs> every time i do the fan i'm like i know a lot about playing cards i'm a pro playing card professional and uh and then i do a fan all right so let's put these back uh and we'll look at the uh look at that my wet old finger yeah, you don't want to have wet hands it's from the beer unless i spit on myself yeah you know i wonder how these uh These are, look at that. Look at that class, you know? I didn't do much of them. I was just talking a lot. Because, uh, oh, by the way, in the Discord where we're talking, a lot of people were uh, commenting on price. And it's like, yeah, they're pricey. But you're getting... You're getting primo cards. Primo. And it looks sick. I love that. Sick. Look at me like I'm 15. They look cool. They look neat. They look radical. Uh, I am not sponsored by him. He does not know me. Um, yeah, so ain't no shade. All right, we're going right. I'm doing this one last because I wanted to uh, check it out. Oh, so how's everybody doing? I haven't used my new little knife over here. I'm loving that color. Look at that. This is one of my favorite colors, by the way. If I could do um, a deck of cards... Yeah, it's, people have done this. I know anyone has. And uh, Nox. I have a Nox one that's this color, too. Um, I don't know why I'm telling y'all that. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> like, I'm not going to make... See, I wanted to do the cellophane. But he didn't... Ooh, did you see that? I almost cut myself. The knife is intentionally not that sharp. If I started bleeding on this, that would be... Yeah. Come on. Anyways, um, yeah, so I've been really busy working, uh, working, doing this, 
Working on my deck. If I told y'all about my deck, y'all probably have seen it. I'll put a link for that in the description. I haven't had time to really like promote it much or do much on it. I finished it. I got new prototypes coming. But yeah. All right, this deck. <laughs> Man, I love this red. This is good red. Um, I believe it is called Scarlet. Man, I love the matte tuck with this gold foil on top. Look at that, he's been doing it. It's class, it's all class. See that? Mm, that's one of my favorite reds already. I just love that. Red looks good on the table, y'all. And I got a blue mat, so you know it's gonna pop. Okay, forward, same thing. And he's the finish has this nice little mag. Look at that little gold thing. And the, <laughs> what I, I can do a fans. Let's see if I can. <laughs> it's so bad. All right, no fans. So these are all gonna be the same. They're not colored differently or anything. Let's check. Just to make sure before I start blabbing. Yeah, all standard course, just recolorized. And to remind you, I will put one back in the camera. There you go. You see, first has been replaced in some of the areas. Oh, and he has a reveal there. See it? It looks like the Seven of Diamonds. Yep. Okay, so he has some reveals in here. There you go. We learned something new. Welcome to Digo Dex. All right. Oof. Yeah, the finish has this really nice, like, little slime on it. I call it slime. Um, but it is uh, it's part of the finish. I think it comes from this, this, this gold when they stamp it, when they put it on the paper. Yeah, and they're thin. A plus. A plus deck. Terrible shuffle. Ignore me. I'm going to try to mix the cards up to see what they look like whenever they're... Um, they're not, they're not fully, uh, yeah. And they feel just, just like these, right? Or these. And the other ones, too. I didn't bring them all out. I, you know I have a lot of decks. So they're like, I don't have all the first. I used to have all the first in one location. Uh, but then I started breaking some cards in and started moving stuff. And life is all the time turned on over here at the Data Dex headquarters. And, uh... Never time. So yeah, so the 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 card stock is like it reminds me a lot of um, it's thick, but it's thin. I know that doesn't make sense. It's like crunchy and soft. It's like wet and dry, right? That doesn't make sense. But when you hold one of these, I don't know if you if if you if any of you have any of these decks, you know what I'm talking about. The cards are thin. It's thin crushed, right? Feels small in my hand compared to other decks, but the cards feel thick. I know that doesn't make sense. Uh, you gotta try, it's like spicy and sweet, sweet and sour sauce. You ever have that? Sweet and sour, right? See, how can that exist? How can sweet and sour sauce exist, but not, not thin and thick, right? I know that doesn't make sense. It's one day you will understand if you play with these cards. Uh, I like them, I think they're good. I'm excited I got them. I kind of want to do, I should try, probably do some stuff with these and do some videos or something. Maybe do some like cool moves, you know, something cool. <laughs> I'm all messing it up. Anyways, that's the video. The new first playing cards. I think they're great. Um, I hope you make decks as often as you have been recently. Again, he probably doesn't watch my videos, but if he is, or one of his friends, or one of somebody he knows, say, Digo Deck said he likes how often you're releasing playing cards, and that you should continue. Um, anyways, that's the video. I think they're worth 20 bucks, each one. Um, again, not sponsored. Uh, if you're a playing card collector, and you support, the, you support creators in the playing card community, like... Chris Ramsey, who's who's given so much on his YouTube channel. Um, you know, I think it's good. I think it's good to support these, these kinds of content creators. And the cards are quality. Like, they're not like, uh, they're quality cards. They're like the best you can get. So, yeah, that's it. See you later. God bless all of you. Um, and I hope that you, uh, you have a good week. <laughs> See you later. Cheers. Cheers.